I've always helped people remember who they are and feel into their power, feel into what their gifts and their skills are. I've really helped people let go of what no longer serves them and transform that into fuel for their mastery, for, for them to shift their life into the positive. The magic happens when you can hear your heart sing, literally hear your heart sing. I just want you to know you were born for this, that you have everything you need to really do you this lifetime. So let's get started. Let's make magic together. I love that. <clears throat> let's make magic together, everyone. Why not, you know? Let's make magic and miracles and make it happen, some outstanding transformations. So I am so happy to see all of you wonderful, amazing, magnificent, miraculous, awesome, transformative, ascending, uplifting, hopeful, optimistic, all of you, if that applies to you, or even if it doesn't, you'll be there by the time we're done. I am so happy to welcome you to this night's Miracle Monday, where we are going to be continuing to do some of that energy healing that we began last week. So I'm glad you're here with us. If you're new to me, I'm Joan of Angels. Yes, I am. I'm Joan of Angels. And if you don't mind liking, subscribing, and sharing this video, that would help grow our tribe so that the healing energies become much more powerful, more potent, and really go around the world. And I want to tell you that I am an intuitive guide. My mission in this life is to help, to help heal and inspire, uplift, transform, activate, awaken each and every one of you so you could do what you came here to do this life. And why do I care? Why do you care? Why does it matter? Well, guess what? It matters because we are in a very difficult time. I don't care if you're watching this three years from now or two years past, this life, past life, future lives. We are in a difficult time on the planet. And each of us processes it differently. Okay. Some people don't talk about it. Some people just, you know, won't even look at it. You know, don't talk to me, talk to the hand, don't talk to my face. But other people are dealing with it and a lot of changes are happening. So there won't be a normal, guys. There's not going to, we're not going to go back to what was once normal, but we are going to step into a new normal, a new energetic once we get through all of the chaos. So I see a lot of my friends. I see blessed by the best. Just so you know, whenever I see that particular name, the frequency of that is very, very exciting. I see Margaret, welcome. Canelo, welcome. Munir, Mohammed, welcome. We're happy to have you here. Emily, we are so happy to have you here. And guys, we love to have you tell us where you're from so that when we get to the juicy part, and that juicy part is when we literally send that energy around the world, we could connect the dots or the, the light grids. We can connect your light towers around the planet with us. So let us know where you're from so that we can connect you in that grid, right, Patricia? We can keep you in that, in that wave of miracle frequency that by the end of tonight, we will be sending around the planet. <clears throat> so I am just so happy to see you all. And I also want to say that tonight's program is dedicated to my sister, my sister Hildy, she's been my sister my entire life, and we are very, very, very close. And in fact, if you saw pictures of us, you'd think we were each other. And there's a picture of us, of me, with a, a mutual friend. It was Hildy's friend first, Kathy. And I had to look several times at that picture to know if it was me standing there with Kathy or my sister standing there with Kathy. That's how much alike we look. And she is scheduled for surgery tomorrow. So it's a very, very big day for her. It's neck surgery. The surgeon is going to go in here and he will actually put something in there that will help to open up those discs and to help with her energy and, and the nerve flow and freeing up all that pain that she's had. So we're going to be working very closely tonight with neck pain, with back pain, headaches, nerve pain, low back. So if any of you are suffering from that, 
when we get into that part, we're going to be sending healing all over. So there you have it. Very grateful for all of that. Very grateful for all of you. Deborah's here. Kubi Slayer is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, you know, I'm not rubbing the microphone, but because I was swinging back and forth, and I'm thinking you're hearing my my air conditioner. So you know what we're going to do? I'm going to have Tina Marie show you this while I run and shut off the air conditioner so we don't hear it. Tina, can we put that up? And we'll announce that now. And Tina can talk and explain that to you too. Thank you guys. All right. Readings for magic and miracles. This is going to happen tomorrow and it happens from my living room. I pour out all the cards. These are paid readings that we're doing. Uh, although I do do cards, you know, one card here and there for each and every one of you, but the energy of the reading night is very, 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 very high. So I think we're going to have to call it something like taco Tuesday or, or, Truth Telling Tuesday, some kind of great name. Tina Marie is great with names, so if you have a name for it, Trustworthy Tuesday, something like that. But what that means is join us tomorrow night. All right, my sound should be much better. Melinda, hello, up oh, from Texas, you all. That's so cool. Yes, we have a Canada in the house. We have Texas in the house. Whew, good. All right. So now, guys want everyone to get ready. So everyone take a deep breath in with me. And let it all out, okay? So we can just center in and we can actually begin to focus on our bodies, on our energy and ask what it is we need to be healed tonight. So taking another deep breath in. And let it all out. Good, Mother, Father, God, we ask just now that we be filled, surrounded, and protected with the light. We ask for clarity. We ask for wisdom. We ask for understanding. We ask for compassion for the divine. We ask to understand for the greater good how we can maneuver and work with the energies around us so that we can actually discern what is true for us so that we can step into our higher power using our greater gifts, that we can allow our bodies, mind, and spirit to be healed so that we can be free to do that which we came here to do and feel in soul, soul-filled purpose. So send your roots down right now, guys. Taking a deep breath in and sending those roots down and so that first they break through the crust of the earth and then as they can continue, yeah, continue to go down, going through the rocks, the water, the rivers, the underground energies, the oils, going down and then down and then down till literally it comes to the center of the earth. Good. And just feeling that kind of clunk down there. Good. And now we're going to take our antenna. And we're going to send that antenna all the way up to the heavens. All right. Just feeling that antenna going up, going up, going up, and then very simply starting to tune up that antenna. Sometimes people like to do two hands, but visualizing that antenna and connecting that all the way up. So it's connected to the heavens and then down to the earth. Why do we want to do that, folks? We want to do that so we can bring in that advanced healings, that advanced galactical celestial healing that comes from above down so that we can bring it down in one fell swoop so that it will go through your brain stem so that it'll start to stimulate your brain stem to start to make the proper connections, which is very, very important because the way we think and the way the brain activates is it sends signals from one neuron to the next neuron to the next neuron and all around. And so right now, 
for my sister for her surgery and for each and every one of you for any pain that you're experiencing or any even lack of vitality or low energy, we're going to ask that these neurons be literally activated in a way that each one then connects with the next one. So these are my substitute neurons. We're going to take this and this, and we're going to ask that the synapses between them be juiced up with nerve fluid that just makes it so easy peasy to send that nerve flow energy and open up those canals for healing. So if anyone is experiencing any numbness and tingling tonight, you will let us know and we will continue that opening up that flow. And so it is. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I'm looking to see what I have here. All right, perfect. So what was that? It just started downpouring. All right. Well, be more specific. What just started downpouring? Did you start feeling that energy coming from above, down, through your crown chakras? This is how our healing is going to begin tonight. And guys, yes, send support for the Miracle Makers Club for Miracle Monday. And if you are in the kindness of donating to help keep not only our channel alive, but the Desert Heart Sanctuary, of which we're moving. So we're moving this sanctuary. But if you want to help donate and be a part of the Joan of Angels tribe where we send healing around the world, and so that it is raining outside and inside, then let us bring it on. That's so cute. Well, of course, I would see it for the highest good. And I see that it is raining miracles. It is raining magic. It is raining upbeat, up energy, healthy, wealthy, and happy kinds of manifestations. Those are the tools of transformation. So going with this kind of energy, okay, so this is, well, this is my essential oil thing, but it's also right now something you can put right here on your crown if it didn't go invisible. But this is the, I want you to really feel yourself connected. And as we feel ourselves connected, I want you to literally feel that stream of cosmic energy starting to come down here. And as it comes down here, trickles down, goes through, as I said, your brain. And again, what does it do? It starts to turn that nerve fluid into healing energies, healing frequencies, so that that nerve energy can go faster and quicker, more efficiently. And it's going to come down through your neck, everyone go into your upper back and shoulders and down into your hands. So shaking your hands, my friends. That's right. Shaking your hands, shaking that energy, rubbing your hands together. So let's start a little bit deeper. And yes, the prayers of protection for my sister, prayers of protection surrounding her with gold and pink light, knowing that the medical staff Yes, that they're divinely guided, that the hands of the surgeon, the hands of the nurses are filled with love, that are filled with healing energies of kindness and compassion and wellness, and that every stitch they take, every, every cut, everything is for the highest good, for perfect healing results in her favor. Thank you so much. We appreciate all of that. Good. All right, so I want to take a deep breath, and I want to share with you a few pieces of information, important ones, all right? We have everything we need to get through these times, and these times can be a bit unstabilizing. So I want you to imagine, like I like to do, that during these times, we thank you so much, during these times, we, the best way to manage these times, whether you're in the thick of it whether you're politically distressed, whether your health is distressed or your nerves are frayed, you're feeling a sense of, oh my God, there's so much going on. What, what can I do? Doesn't matter because what has to happen is, is return to a sense of balance. So what I'm hearing is the first thing we're going to do tonight is return to a sense of balance. So joining with me, first of all, I want you to imagine that we're in that mountaintop and that we're about a quarter of the way down from the top and there's a cute little cavern in that mountaintop 
And I am inviting each and every one of you to come and join us in that mountaintop where we have delicious cacao drinks, hot cacao, chai tea. We have herbal tinctures. We have these beautiful chairs that when you sit in them, they make you feel all special. Okay. And Facebook user, let us know who you are, sweetie. Um, so that you feel all special. You feel toasty. You feel well taken care of. And from our seat, and above, down, looking out, guess what? From our seat, we can actually see everything that's going on. And I like to see it as a pathway. And I see all of the planet, all of America, all of the world, just going and all of each and every one of you, walking, driving, motorcycling, scootering, all the way like this, okay? So as you do that, we're sitting up here and we're noticing all the roadblocks there. We're noticing what gets in your way and what gets in all of these people's way of moving forward fearlessly. Now, when we sit up here, we could actually look down with a lot more clarity so that we can clear the obstacles. We can clear the frequencies. We can clear that energetic blockage that keeps us stuck or that keeps them stuck, that keeps them unnurtured, that keeps them kind of crazy. And so I see the energy as, okay, moving, moving, moving up, oh, there's a roadblock. And suddenly people are going round and round and round and round and round and round and round in circles. So our job is to see it and help not only clear it, but actually sort of see people getting through their obstacles onto that straight path again. Does that make sense? So one thing that gets in our way, my friends, is when we actually have pain and suffering, emotional pain, emotional suffering, because that is true in its true nature. Pain is your your lower frequency emotions weighing you down. So pain in its true spiritual component, which is what I want to discuss first. All right. From above, down, inside out. That's how healing happens. So that pain is when, so the celestial energies come through here, but if you're negatively blocked, if you're in worry, fear, anger, hurt, or loss, and if the connections are no longer being able to be made, or there's blockages like here in our neck that are going down here that, that actually block the energy to flow. So energy blockages are real. They come in all forms. They come literally physically, though, down here, coming from above, down through our body and down through our spine. And, you know, as a chiropractor all those years, my job was to turn on your power and help you connect to innate, innate intelligence, which is universal intelligence, which is source, which is divine intelligence. It's your angels. It's your guides. It's all of the above. So by removing the blockages and obstacles, we can clear your channels for health, wealth, and happiness. Who's in? You like that idea, my guys? What do you think? Who's ready to do that tonight? Now, also, as I kind of keep looking at this, moving those energies. So remember, we started by bringing in the celestial energies through here. So you can actually imagine it as a portal or as a, a, what, a cone, a light body coming from above down through you and through your body. And so by doing that particular visualization, Dr. Uh, DH, all right, it kind of looks like Dr. H, which I used to be called Dr. Hangard or Dr. H by a lot of people. But as we see, oh, there's Doc Duchess. All right. She is in the house. So as we bring this energy down, remember, we are now 
actually awakening our kundalini energy as well. And we're clearing these blockages, allowing this energy to flow freely, flow freely, opening the energy that goes to our heart, our lungs, our stomach, our liver, our gallbladder, our reproductive organs, our kidneys, our bladder, our low back, our sciatic leg, our toes. So I want you to wiggle all of them. So you remember that song from childhood about our knees and toes? The, the wheels on the bus go round and there's all those songs from childhood. <clears throat> so when I get a grandkid, I'll remember them all again, okay? So when we remember those songs, so you know the wheels on the bus go round and round and, and they work with our feet and our toes and our hands and our eyes, while I'm doing this, there's a reason I'm doing this. I'm not doing this to entertain you. I'm actually doing this to stir up the vibrational frequencies so that you actually start to receive. And I'm even clearing the air between us, awakening it, energizing it. These are some of the new tools that I'm being shown. Now, when we bring that light body down, what it will do, it will, number one, turn you into a radiant light body being that not only uh, receives light, but projects light as well. So it will raise that frequency up. But the second thing it will do is it will connect you to source and it will bring down the wisdom and the information that each of you need for your healing. Oh, yes. So that's one of the tools we're using is that light body from above down. And the second, okay, yes. Yeah, so now we're going to start. So what I'd like you to do in the right corner in the comments is to put down what we're treating energetically for you today. We are going to energetically send energy. It worked so well last week that I'm committed to these miracles of healing. So let us know where we are going to direct your energy Tina Marie will put you up one at a time. She will make sure not one of you are lost as we continue the healing, as we bring in higher frequencies. And yes, the music of the spheres, we can open up your channels to hear the music of the spheres. And I am actually going to post the name of my friend Ford, whose music is of the high frequencies that I completely recommend. So check out Bi Tribe and some of those golden meditations that, that you will like. Okay, good. So we're going to begin by rubbing our hands together. And I'm going to send this energy from my right hand through the, through the screen, through the ether. And you can pick it up with your left hand and feel it. All right, I'm being guided to place both hands around my face. However, it's not really my face. They were showing me that by doing this, I'm actually putting light around one of you, one of you people's, one of you's faces so that we can actually bring this energy here, smooth it out, and then also bringing this energy behind the neck and forward to the front of the neck. So for those of you who have neck pain, those of you who are, are suffering in any way, shape or form in your neck, in this energy, we wanna do this so that we can start to open up this channel, bringing that energy forward. Also, it's gonna help with the surgery that's happening tomorrow by actually keeping that nerve and energy flowing right here. Now, by the way, you can guys really work with this energy in your lymph and in your neck. Something about the face that I'm really feeling tonight. All right, so moving down the spine, wanted to share with the class and I'm not sure exactly what you're sharing with the class. So we'll, we'll put that up for a second and, and maybe take a peek at what that is. All right. So that was your upper right back and ribs. Okay, guys, 
let's talk about your right upper back and your shoulders, right? Bring So let's start this healing by bringing your shoulders up and around, up and around, up and around, and then holding it up. And as you are holding it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are going to start releasing that energy in your right shoulder. Your right side is that assertive side. It's that side that, that takes on so much in the world. That's that side of you that says, oh, my God, do I have to keep putting so much weight on myself, caring so much? So right now we're going to let your shoulder know what a great job she's done. Your shoulder, Canela, has taken so much, so much stress so we're just asking for that release in that in that shoulder blade. That's also digestive issues right there in those ribs and in that area too. It's almost like those ribs, ribs want to burp. So we're sending healing energy right now. Canelo, let us know when you feel it. <clears throat> let us know when you do feel that energy and if you're feeling it release. And if anyone else is having right upper shoulder, right upper back pain, you might as well put it here so we can clear it all at the same time as you let us know. So Canella, for you, I'm also hearing that somehow it has to do with reaching out for help or for more support. Maybe it's about needing more support. And also, continuing to be able to stand on your two feet, two feet, two feet. And so spirit wants you to actually love on your legs, love on your hamstrings, let them know how much you appreciate them. And I'm kind of hearing that they'd like heat. Now I know it's hot in Palm Springs, but I'm almost hearing that they would, your hamstrings would like heat on them. So we want to send that to your hamstrings. Whew. Okay, slowly more comfortable. My arm hurts, which is a sign that I'm doing something right. <clears throat> Mother, Father, God, we just ask right now to help Canela release with deep healing. Okay, now they're going in very, very deeply between each of those ribs. There's a lot of sorrow in those ribs. Sorrow and losses, deep losses. And I guess I'm hearing that it's almost like you want to grind it up, like it, it sometimes is more than you can bear. So we're just going to remove that. Just going to remove that. Just remove it. It should be lightening up a little bit more. And is it a little bit more? Let us know if it's a little bit more. Yes, the jacuzzi is exactly what you need. Mm -hmm. But when you're done with the jacuzzi, uh, that's a good time to put an ice pack to cool it down. And you'll see that that will feel really good. So that also has to do with your wings. And so remembering that this is, you know, the shoulder blade, guys, is your another name for wings. <clears throat> so really bring them back. And Canela, you're just so graceful for you to just imagine. I don't want you to put your arms in this position because it's a little hard for your shoulder. But just imagine that your wings, you know, just start to feel them stretching out. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see how that's doing. And my sister's name for Tina Marie and for all of you. It's H-I-L-V-Y, although I am sure spirit knows exactly who you're talking about. Okay, so four horn four. First of all, I want to thank you for being here. Grateful. Where are you from? Just so we know. Bladder leaking. Well, that's kind of interesting. I asked spirit, well, what, what is bladder leaking about? And, and that's about your emotions leaking all over the place, not being able to contain them. They're overspilling. They're just pouring out all over. Bladder and kidneys are about deep, 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 deep sorrow and grief. 
So when we're experiencing bladder leaking, what can't we contain anymore? What is too much for us to bear? Let's see if there's anything else. Also, I'm kind of seeing it as a first chakra energy. So again, doing those Kegel exercises for fun. That's what they're saying. Just do them for fun and start practicing being able to strengthen those muscles along with it. Okay. So I'm not going to ask you this second if it's any better, but, but, all right. And if you're getting any pain with your bladder, I'm hearing that I should recommend something called corn silk, corn silk tea. Corn silk is what you find in the, in the shell of corn. It's like, it's the corn husk. And, and then between the husk and the, and the corn is corn silk. So organic only, and it's very hard to get organic corn, organic GMO free corn. But if you could get organic GMO free corn silk tea or corn that you can take it out of, that would also be very, very helpful, actually, very beyond helpful. Your body would really like it. So how's the bladder feeling and doing? Okay. Just let me know. Good. Whew. Okay. And guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed by the best. I release, I release. What relief? I release, I receive, re. Leave. I kind of like that. I release, I receive, I relieve. I release, receive, relieve. Release, receive, restore, renew, reboot. Release, receive, renew, restore, reboot, regenerating. Good. I'm feeling great. So good. So if you're feeling great, then rub your hands together and start working with us as we're spreading and sharing these energies. And I'm going to send you energy from my right hand to your left, and let us know when you feel the energies coming through. All right, Ryan S., welcome. Nice to see you here. Back pain. Oh, gosh. Okay. So right now, and this is for everyone, mother, father, God, we ask right now to let go of everything that no longer serves us. Letting go of pain. Letting go of anger letting go of fear, letting go of other people's opinions, letting go of curses, letting go of hostilities, letting go of hopelessness, letting go of depression, letting go of soul contracts, Letting go of that which keeps us, anything that keeps us from living our best life. And now looking into your back. All right, Ryan, we are now looking into your back, into the energy in your back. <clears throat> and, and we feel like there's been a sense of lack in your life. Almost a feeling that you were not enough, that you couldn't kind of fill your cup. So right now we're not only relieving your back pain, but know that back pain comes from that energy of not getting our needs met, fear of, of loss of money, of fear or anger that against someone else. So all of that. So right now we're starting to release the hold that this has over you, removing that fear, removing that anger, and we're going to ask that there be a floodgate, and we mean a floodgate of positive energies, positive vibrations, positive manifestations that come through from above down. We are healing soul contracts that you have had, cords that you have had for centuries with people that was designed because they had an agreement with you that they were not going to let you live your sole purpose this lifetime. So we are literally pulling out 
those cords and they are deep. We are pulling them out one at a time for you. Let us know if you're actually feeling them <coughs> being removed. Yes, you're the only awake one in your generation because we need to now, as you are going to get healed, we you're one of the things that we do as we get healed is that we can start to to break the ancestral ties to the negativity and to the dark energy. So by you getting restored, by you releasing, Ryan, by you breaking these soul contracts and freeing up that negative energy, you will be able to release those negative ancestral cords and heal your ancestors going back seven generations. So who's in favor of going back and healing seven generations? I am. My family has a lot to heal as well. So let's go back and start for everyone. Let us, every one of you, <clears throat> how are we going to do that? Okay, they're showing me. They're showing me kind of how to do it. Oh, okay. Here's a really nifty way to do it for all of us. So remember, I invited you to sit up in the mountaintop with me having chai tea, right, or cacao. And we are looking down at the platform down here, at that plateau. And as we are looking down, my dears, right, I want you to start to feel into that energy. And I want you to start to see what's going on down there. And I said seven generations of soul contracts start to look and see that we're lining them up each level of ancestry, you know, you, then the ones behind you, the ones behind you, the ones behind you, the ones behind you, the ones behind you. And we can sit up here and see them. So as I'm sitting up here and sitting here with you, we can see that the, your ancestors, and I'm including my ancestors in here too, that the ancestors themselves are actually stuck. There's cords all around them, like layers and layers and layers of wrapping around them. I guess that's what true cording is, guys. So, and it's for seven generations back. And then there's this long cord for the 25th generation if they want to hop on. So, <clears throat> okay. And they're actually showing me the niftiest way of releasing this. So guys, you know all about yo-yos, right? You, you have a, an old-fashioned yo-yo, you throw it out, and you pull it back up. Throw it out, you pull it back up, and it wraps itself around the wheel. So we're going to take the first ancestor, which is you. We're going to literally imagine that we are spinning you out. Now, how do you really want me to do that? Okay. Trying to see. They, they didn't give me the whole picture yet. Okay. Spinning it out. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Spinning it out, releasing you so that that first ancestor can go on their way. Free and clear. Karma complete. Ancestral ties. Ancestral memories of victimhood, of loss, of, of depression, of misery, of powerlessness. Removing all of that. And now going to the second one in, the, in, the, in, your, in your ancestor line. Do the same thing, spin them out and literally spin them out so they come off that yo-yo and they go down that path, knowing that they are free and clear, that you have literally removed lifetimes of karma from them. Yes, I like that. Okay, going down to the third, doing the same thing, spinning it out, releasing. Going down to the fourth, spinning it out, releasing. Going down to the fifth. Going down to the sixth, hmm, going down to the seventh. Now, Mother, Father, God, right now, we are asking right now that we have access to the DNA, ancestral DNA and current DNA of you. So right now, imagining right now that we are doing what they're calling cut and paste. Cut and paste. We do it all the time with our computers and with Word documents. So what I see them doing right now is they are going inside your DNA and they are literally excising, cutting out, cutting out, removing, cut, you know, that whole thing we do on our computer, cutting out any, what they're telling me, are damaged, damaged DNA. 
damaged DNA shows up in the energy field as dark spots and literally energy was turned off. No energy in it, nothing. So we are turning that off. I mean, we are, we are, we released it and we're cutting that out in your DNA, cutting that out. Let's see when that's done, cutting it out, cutting out all bad spots in each and every one of your DNA and in your ancestral lineage. So every person right now is having that DNA aspect of that cut out any damaged parts, any lower frequencies, any lower energy souls, cutting that out. All right. So are we complete? Are we complete? No, we're not complete. Not complete yet. Okay. Any dark and damaged DNA souls energy being released, being released, being released, being released, being released, being released, being released. Being released. Okay. 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 All right. Still being released. Okay. Well, it's not, it's understandable. Definitely understandable. All right. Okay, good. So that's been released. Oh, okay. So what I'm hearing is they're asking us to do a little reboot. So if we were on the computer, a reboot, a reboot would be that we shut down the computer and hit the restart button. So reboot, restart. Good. And going back down to those entry points, we are now going to insert higher frequency DNA right now into those areas, adding additional DNA sequences, DNA for each and every one of us, DNA for health, DNA for happiness, DNA for manifestation, DNA for wisdom, DNA for clarity, DNA for upgrades, DNA for prosperity, DNA for compassion, DNA for joy and happiness, DNA, 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 DNA that allows us to connect with our soul family, DNA that allows us to connect with our angels, DNA that allows us to connect with our star family beings, DNA that allows us to repel anything lower frequency in our body, any chemtrails, oh my God, the effect of the chemtrails actually removing any negative effects from chemtrails, from GMOs, from dirty water, from dirty thinking, fear, mongering, anything that's been inserted into your brain that doesn't belong to you. All right, good. So as we release all that, and then we are inserting all of the positive vibrations, we are inserting clarity, wisdom, peace, understanding, miracles, healing, angels now. So we are actually literally inserting into your DNA a code for miracles. You now have the miracle activation code within you. You can at any time ask to activate, to awaken. It's like a miracle muscle. You can ask to awaken it. You can ask to literally turn it up, turn it on so that you can experience miracles for you. All right. I'm going to take a little water. Uh, I'm going to tune in and see if we have any feedback. Any comments on anything that has happened? Whew, this life, past life, future lives, feel free to comment. And then we are going to continue with the healing. And guys, Tina's going to put the uh, the PayPal link again if you feel called to donate to the sanctuary, to the Joan of Angels energetics to help us keep on doing this energy and we've been doing miracle monday for no charge for many 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 years and do everything that we can and now we're asking you to help us by donating too if we're helping you okay good blessed by the best she's so cute i just feel when i see her come on that i've been blessed by the best and the beauty of a name like that is it carries that energy so we have gratitude. Thank you so much, each and every one of you. I love you. Um, you are in my heart forever. All right. Okay. So I see Elizabeth Ashton is being thanked. She is our little angel tonight. She's bringing her soul tribe here for healing. She loves each of you that much that she is bringing you here so that you can actually have your energy lifted. And so we thank her. We thank each of you that share this out. And, and bring your tribe, your ancestors too. So we have a headache above the eyes. We have left knee pain and right ankle feeling lighter already from the healing for others. Let's hold this up for a minute so I can focus on that. You know, so headaches above the eyes. 
Well, I was going to give you an esoteric answer, but my guide said, well, what are you afraid to see? So what are you hiding from yourself? Headache above the eyes. All right. So right now, first, first thing that we want to do for you, and again, this is for everyone, we want to open up this channel so that this energy that comes from the cosmos comes down here. And in that, that little switch back here, we can actually bring it so that it starts to come around here and free the energy here. All right. Temple eyes and headaches have several energies that come with it. And in looking at how I want to help you with that, we're just right now going to send healing here. And what I'd like you to do is sit first and with your hands, just like this. I need you to help me. So, and all of you can help and do this if you want. Just hold that right there as I send energy. And you can kind of, you know, do this a little bit. So continue to send energy. And then I want you to actually go around your temples like this. And this is like a physical thing you can do, especially here, and do it hard and go around your eyes like this. Good. And then I want you to rub your hands together and then put your warm palms over your eyes. Good. And then I want you who's working with your health, your headache rather, to keep your hands there as we start to remove some of this pain. That's there. Okay. And also feels a lot like sinuses as well up there. You might want to try to clear that out with baking soda and cream of tartar. And that will help also an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar uh, also will help with that. Actually more than you know. So take it before you go to bed. If you don't have the cream of tartar, just do the baking soda. All right, now, interesting that it was your left knee, I think. Was it your left something and your right something? So I know there was a left something and a right something. Yeah, left knee, all right, good. So your knee is your ability to walk forward. When it's your left knee, it is actually feeling afraid, being reluctant to, feeling dependent on others. So let your left knee know that she can support you, the knee, okay? And the same thing with your right ankle. It's like fearlessly moving forward. You are going to be just fine. Um, every part of your body, I am moving forward fearlessly. So I am moving forward fearlessly is a good affirmation for you to use fearlessly. We can all use that affirmation, my loves, okay? fearlessly moving forward, this life, past life, and future lives. And remember, we have just released your ancestral ties. So cutting the cords, so carrying your ancestral ties is like having a choo-choo train behind you when you're trying to jog and run a race on your feet, okay? There you are on your feet trying to tug, you know, be a tugboat, pull that heavy, heavy chain. So no, okay, cut those ties. All right, so I see thank yous. All right, so me and my friends need healing on our back, teeth, nose, and living situation that landlord wants to kick us out because our neighbors are lying. Woo! All right, so you are in a hotbed mess. Let's keep that up for a minute. So oh, you're and your fiance, I kind of read his friends. Okay, you need healing on our back your teeth, your nose, your living situation. So the first thing that I see is that I want to put you and your partner in a little energetic bubble and start to free the energies up around you so that your energy isn't creating that stir that incites people to hate on you. Okay. So because that's negatively affecting your health, your energy and everything. So sending you a 
also what we're seeing is that so i usually see capes on people and i see that i see this cape that kind of it's an energy cape that you might wear when you go out in the world and this energy cape has a lot of dark shadows on it other people's opinions na some nastiness pain you know uh, teeth have to do with self-esteem back has to do with self-esteem and loving ourselves, and this whole issue with your landlord so let's see what they want us to do here they want us first to clear the energy around you can you kindly sage your home tonight sage your energy start instead of hating on the world around you and the people around you start sending them energetically little thank you thank you for bringing it to my attention that i need to do better work thank you for just thank you. Thank you for, for your presence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. There's, there can't be any more anger that emanates from you or fear because that's lowering your frequency. We only want you to start placing yourself in a bubble of protection where nothing can harm you, where you're creating energy that's free and clear. As I said, Sage, please. Also, get rid of clutter, anything that's lowering your vibration. All right. Forgive your neighbor for lying. You know, just let it go. Just let everything go so that you can literally be free and in your own energies. So I hope that helps. And that's a start. Yeah. And that's the work you're going to have to do. Got it. All right. I guess I have to move my sign up a little higher. All right. And there is Freddie. Hi, Freddie. All right. Pain tightness to right forearm and right leg tightness. So, Monsieur P Freddie, we've been doing and worked on right shoulder. Well, not the right forearm, but the right shoulder. All right. Well, just going to tell you what Freud would say. Freud would say there's someone you really want to punch out with your right arm. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I had the sense that when Freud comes to me and shows me that, because I, I never forgot this discourse I read about healing and Freud. And, and he told this woman that she had shoulder pain because she wanted to punch out her husband. Well, that's what they're showing me. There's someone you would like to kind of punch out. Also, it has to do with extending. Now, it's not receiving, but it's giving and sharing. So your right leg tightness, again, right leg. What would they like you to do with your right leg tightness? They're showing me to do stretching. So your right leg is your ability to move forward and ability to move forward fearlessly. And there's two things I see. I see actually doing right leg stretches where you, you know, put your right leg out forward and you literally stretch and then put it back. So start stretching your legs and, and doing, I can't do it for you here. I'm on a show, <laughs> but lifting up each leg, your right leg, your right knee 10 times, 10 times, 10 times, 10 times to get it moving forward. And that's a start for now. What I'm hearing is that there's stuck energy and they want you to start moving it and releasing it. Yes. All right. So where else did I see healing needed? Any more healing? Oh, well, this one's a big one. Arterial plaque, irregular heartbeat and fatigue. Um, Candy, Candle, Candle, how long have you had this? So if you don't mind answering that for us, Peck, where you're from and how long have you had that? Just for that answer. If you're still on. So she may not be on. If you're not going to be on, unless I see someone else that's asking for support at the current moment. All right. So, guys, we are going to do a little work on hearts, arterial plaque, irregular heartbeat, and fatigue. Um, what I'm hearing is that we actually need to take your hearts, Imagine your heart right here 
And what we're going to do is really delicately, really beautifully clear your heart energy. We're going to go around. In fact, some of you might even feel it. But we want to release the heart from any myocarditis, any blood clots. We want to see it moving perfectly. Your heart, boom, 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 boom. But boom, what does that mean, Freddie? Oh my God. What does that mean? What does an oh my God mean, honey? What does that mean? Are you feeling better? What's feeling better? Yes, just letting go. It's been tough. All right, keep letting go, guys. Keep letting go. Keep letting go. Keep letting go. Keep letting go. Left tip. Let's start all together. Left tip, left tip, left tip, left tip, left tip, left tip. Left tip. Left hip, left hip, left hip. That's what we're doing, guys. Read what Patricia is saying. Whole body healings for all of you. It is happening because this energy is just flowing through right now. Whole body healing, left hip. So your left hip is your ability to receive and move forward. Stand on your own two feet. So with that left hip. It gave me a little rhyme for you. It's like clicking with life, dancing with joy. Hmm. Something about kicking up your heels. Start moving better. Okay, left hip. Kicking up your heels. Um, oh, they said you've been spinning your wheels. And you have to kick up your heels. Spinning wheels, kicking up heels. Okay. So we're going right into that left hip right now. And we are actually, so I, I see kind of like arthritis in there, some calcification. Oh my God, if you knew what a hip looked like, this ball and socket joint, it's so pretty. It's like you have your leg and there's this literally like a ball. So I'm telling you this because right now we're just clearing off stuck stuff, yucky stuff on that ball. Ooh, and we're going into that. I think you should be able to feel it because I'm feeling it. We're going into that joint and we're smoothing around the edges and we're clearing it out. Ooh. Okay, so how does that feel now? Let me know what's happening in that hip. Ooh. Okay, I am sopping wet, guys. I, oh. Okay, so in order to do the show, guys, I had to turn the air conditioning off. So it's about 85 in the house right now. And I'm working up the DNA. I'm working up the energies. And um, let's see. Whew. Love to you, Elizabeth. Love to your tribe, Elizabeth. Love to each and every one. Elizabeth, how are you doing? I didn't hear from you how you're doing. Or maybe I just didn't see it. All right. I'm scrolling down. I am scrolling down. To all of you who came tonight, all of you who are new to me, you're not new to me. You've probably been in my tribe thousands of lifetimes. We've learned together. We've learned the mysteries together. We've learned these energy healings together. We have called in the star family together. We have sung in the celestial choruses together. You know me from ancient days. Okay, this is going to be the last piece of healing that we're going to do. This is everyone. So, hmm. Let us take a deep breath in with Linda. And for any of us that have feel betrayed, for any of us whose hearts have been broken, for any of us who have expected more from others, who have in our open heart, in our, in our kindness that we gave out love and gratitude and we're expecting to get in kind, we ask right now that we get a feeling of of release, understanding, understanding that although we may walk at a higher frequency, we also understand that not everyone is of the light, not everyone has those values that we share. And so we ask right now to forgive. We ask to forgive those who do not know, those who do not know any better, those who walk in fear, those who walk in anger, those who walk in betrayal. We ask to forgive each and every one of them so that they can and they will seek the healing and forgiveness from their own soul source so that they 
can understand and learn the gift of compassion. And meanwhile, we ask that each of us who has been betrayed understand that betrayal can only happen if we allow another being to hurt us and to harm us. And so it is a reminder for us that we up our game, that we up our protection, that we up our understanding that we cannot control another being. We cannot control how they love on us or how they betray us or how they may hate on us. We can only control our own energy. So we ask for forgiveness. We ask to forgive them for they know not what they sow. We ask for, to forgive any karma that we may have with them that may have led this to happen. We ask to release anything, this life, past life, future lives, that ties this together in a way that's less than kindness, less than compassion, and so it is. All right, I want to address the two vertebrae at the top for Elizabeth Ashton. She's one of my soul family beings. Elizabeth, meaning God, lives here, and we want those two top vertebrae, the axis and the atlas. It's atlas is C1, axis is C2. Ah, perfect. I want you to do this visualization. Everyone visualize with us. So the axis, the atlas, and the axis are the funniest looking vertebrae you will ever see. C2 is a circle, and C1 goes right through the circle, right like this, and then it's like this, and you're and your brain sits on it, your skull sits on it, all right? So I want you to have that visual. So the vertebrae is here and, and your whole head sits on this. And so rocking it back and forth would be very painful. So my dear, dear friend, just take your hands and you put your hands right underneath your, your skull, please. And we are gonna do some healing motions to release it. We're going to do a form of occipital release, even though I guess we're going to do it on mine. As we pull that up, we pull that up. And one thing I want you to start doing tonight is to roll a towel up like a log love and put it under your neck so your neck is literally hanging over. That will actually reinforce what I'm doing right now. Okay. Okay. So freeing that energy up for you. And we're literally, all right, I see the atlas is a little off kilter. So we're moving that atlas of yours straight. And guys, I have been known to do chiropractic adjustments on Zoom, okay? So reach out if that's an issue. Okay, beautiful. I think we've done a lot of healing tonight. How was this session for you guys? I want your feedback. Should we do it again? Do you feel like you're getting results? What do you think? All right, out of this world tonight. I told you these are advanced healing technologies using ancient modality, cosmic energy, star being energies, light body and DNA activation technologies that are just being channeled through me ever since I was connected to the UFO a couple of weeks ago and the, the divine being came through to me. All right, next week, I'm going to actually show you pictures of the ETs that came through. So stay tuned to next week for Miracle Monday. Come back tomorrow for, for our readings event. And then on Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific, I have a very renowned person who's, who's up and coming as a, as a galactic ambassador. I have him live on Friday morning at 9 a.m with new realities with Alan Steinfeld. So that's all upcoming events. Did this help guys? Okay, Patricia says best session ever. I just tuned in here. Deb, you're gonna have to listen. Healing will occur even if you're listening it in the future. All right, so guys, I love you all. I wanna thank you for being with us tonight. Please grow the tribe. If you can notice, if you've noticed that as we're growing, the healing powers are growing. The miracles are manifesting. Please let us know. Reach out to me if you have had any miracles of healing. I want to know about them. You can you can send me messages on Facebook or Instagram at Joan of Angels, and we love you dearly. So be sh sure to like, subscribe, and share. Check out the Soul Awakening sessions at joanofangels.com, and I love you all. Stay well. Stay in tuned. Focus on your best gifts. And know that we are going to be just 
fine. We are going to actually be even more than fine. See you all next. I always help people remember who they are and feel into their power, feel into what their gifts and their skills are. I really help people let go of what no longer serves them and transform that into fuel for their mastery, for, for them to shift their life into the positive. The magic happens when you can hear your heart sing, literally hear your heart sing. I just want you to know you were born for this, that you have everything you need to really do you this lifetime. So let's get started. Let's make magic together. Magic and miracles, guys. Love you all. We'll see you next week. Have a miraculous week.